morning and welcome to today's video. So today is Vlogtober day 18 and the past few days we have been recreating drinks from the theme parks. We've created the Leaping Leprechaun, we've create which is from Epcot. We have recreated the Shark Attack from Finnegan's Barn Grill at Universal Orlando. We tried yesterday to recreate the Vampire Margarita, didn't go so well. But today, we're trying a cruise line drink. And today, it is from the Carnival Cruise Line, and it is called The Cruiser. So, I've got all my ingredients ready to go, so let's get started. today comes from a website called cruisemapper.com and I will link it in the description below. So it is called the cruiser and it says that it takes one and one fourth ounce of coconut rum and I've got two different options here. I have Parrot Bay coconut rum that I've been using in some of my other recipes and I've got this one and it's brand new. I haven't opened it yet. It's Captain Morgan loco nut coconut shot liqueur um it's i love this bottle because it's scratch and sniff and it smells like a coconut our local um liquor store had these they had coconut watermelon and apple and they all smell like the liquor that's inside so i'm gonna eat but i'm probably gonna end up using this one, but I may break out the new bottle. Then it calls for three ounces of orange juice and two ounces of pineapple juice. So that's a total of five ounces. I'm going to kind of condense that down because I have a mix and you've seen me use this in the shark attack. It's the pineapple orange from Dole and I love this. I love this in a mixed drink, but I also love it alone. It is so good. And I just got it at Walmart. And then it says a cocktail shaker half filled with ice cubes to strain into a highball glass filled with ice cubes. So instead of a high ice strainer, I've got a large mason jar and I've got a small mason jar because that's just how I roll. So I'm going to start by putting some of the ice into my smaller mason jar. You're probably wondering why I have ice in a mason jar. Well, we keep our ice in our deep freeze, which is in our back porch area. So it was easier just to use this that I was going to use for a strainer or for my shaker and just pour it straight in there. So I've got ice into my small one. I'm going to set it aside. All right. So the first thing it says for is the one and one fourth ounce of coconut rum. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this one up, but be ready for this one in an upcoming recipe. Might as well use up what's open first, right? So, make sure I have no water in there. I'm just going to kind of eyeball one and one fourth ounce. I think that looks about good. The thing about having ice already in it is you're not quite sure exactly when you just eyeball things. So, added a little bit more. Now, we're going to add in our pineapple orange. And I think I'm just going to eyeball this as well. Five ounces seems like a lot, especially when it's something that's already pre-mixed like for me. So... A little bit more, maybe. Ta-da! Okay, put my lid back on my juice so I don't knock it off and spill it. Y'all know me, it is definitely something I would do. All right, so we're gonna tighten up our lid. We're gonna shake it up. I feel kind of like special doing this. Like, ooh, maybe I am becoming a bartender. Okay, open this up. Set my ring along the side. And then I'm just going to kind of, you know how you like take your lid and like balance it along the side so you can drain like your pasta? That is what we're doing here. I think I have a little too much ice, so I'm going to put a little ice to the side. And I'm going to simply strain my drink into my other glass. Yeah, there we go. Set this aside. 
All right, here's what it looks like. Um, I don't think I put enough. I either put too much orange juice or not enough rum. Because I should be able to taste coconut in it, and I can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of the rum directly to my small glass. This is probably why you should measure. Not going to lie. Put my small lid on, shake him up real quick, and now I'll give it a taste. Maybe it's done canning. It popped. <laughs> Much better. Now, I will say that if you watched my video on a shark attack, that's kind of what this is. It's kind of like a shark attack without the blue Karaku. But I like the shark attack, so definitely not bad. So I'd say this recipe is a success and it's definitely one that I will be drinking in the future. And I definitely next time will be making it with the new uh, coconut rum that I've got. Using up what I've got left. That's how we do it, right? So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you make this, let me know. I will link the uh in the amounts and the website cruisemapper.com down below thank you so much for watching this video if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe ring the bell make sure it's solid so you get notifications for all of our videos thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later bye